we're having a reception for our fall show. The Wellesley Society of Artists is 80 years old. It is made up of artists in the area. You don't have to be a resident of Wellesley to join. If you're interested in joining, um, you do have to be juried in. Once you are juried in, then you are able to put in one painting at each of our shows. We have at least three shows a year. Our feature in our fall show is a demonstration by Jeannie Smith, who's going to do a, um, a pastel uh, seascape for us. We're all very excited about that. I paint in pastel. I've been painting in pastel about 15 years, and I've always been a painter, and, but I've been doing this professionally for about the last 11 years or so, ever since my youngest child started school. And I've just, I've just, in the last few years, I've started teaching workshops all over the country, and I'm just lucky to be able to be doing it full time. We all want to see the demonstrations. I mean, all artists, whether you're professional or just starting out, you always feel like you want to learn more. And, and it's just wonderful to see how another artist works. They, while they're giving a demonstration, they usually talk about the materials they use, the processes they use, um, maybe a little bit of history of how they became an artist. I feel like the most valuable thing I can give students as a teacher is to have them realize what they're good at. So I try to find what their strengths are, what a painter's strength is, because I feel like if you're painting from a position of strength and you know what you're good at, then you can build. It's, very, it's a very personal thing, being able to paint well. And if you're taking a lot of risks when you're painting a picture, and it's really easy to do a bad painting. So it's, it can be difficult to really try hard and fail. If you're building your confidence and you learn how, what things work, you, you tend to want to work harder at it. And then you're a, more able to judge things more critically as you move forward. One other piece of advice that I would have for students as they're painting, I think the most important thing is you're looking at a piece of work and trying to decide what to do on a painting is, does this look like what I'm trying to make it look like? What, does it look like the real thing? And if not, what is it that's most different? That's what I want to change. You have to train your eye to see. That's really what teaching painting is, is teaching you how to see things more accurately. So if you can see well, then you can paint well.